There are 20 stashes in Into the Radius, with the first three being located in Purvame Route. On the map, I've marked them in yellow. The first one we're going to be going to is located in the top left corner of the map, behind the train station. In the hills northwest of the train station, you can find a concrete pipe sticking out of the ground, and in that pipe you can find a TT, a suppressor for it, two magazines, and a couple of boxes of ammo. The TT has 100% durability in it, the suppressor is about 20%, both the TT magazines are fully loaded with full metal jacket ammunition, and the two boxes of ammunition have 9 and 11 bolts in them respectively. The second stash is located roughly in the middle of the map, just off the main road. The stash is six boxes of ammunition inside the green jeep with the white radius logo. The ammo boxes are on the floorboards of the jeep, with four boxes in the back and two in the front. In the rear passenger side are two 762x25 full metal jacket ammo boxes, with eight and eleven bullets each, for a total of nineteen. The rear driver's side has two boxes of buckshot with three shells each, for a total of six. And finally, in the driver's seat, you'll find two boxes of 9x18 full metal jacket, with 7 and 16 bullets, for a total of 23. The third stash is in the walled compound, near the gas anomaly. Once in the compound, walk up a knocked over pillar onto the roof. From there, you can jump down onto the fuel tank that has the third stash. In this third stash, you'll find a G17 and magazine at about 40% durability, and a box of 13 rounds of 9x19 FMJ ammo. Moving on to the second map, Balotki Village, stash number 4 is in the village itself, close to the shortcut to Facility 21. The stash is inside the oven in a greenhouse. In this stash are two AK magazines, two F1 grenades, and two 545 x 39 FMJ ammo boxes, with 8 and 11 bullets for a total of 19. Be careful when going for the fifth stash, as it's close to web and shock anomalies. The items are underwater in a sunken rowboat, next to a red valve. In this stash is a PP-91 at 40% durability, a pistol suppressor at 20%, two long mags with PP-91 at about a third durability, and a 9x18 FMJ ammo box that has three bullets. The sixth and final stash in Blotkey Village is great to get early on. It has three med injectors, two machetes, two rolls of toilet paper, and five grenade launcher shells. To get to the stash, you're gonna have to climb onto the side of the truck to get into it. Now, moving on to Pobetta Factory, this first stash can be hard to find because the items that are in it are often flipped underground so you can't see them. The stash is in the back corner of this hangar, behind the green sofa. Here, underground, you'll find 10 grenade launcher shells and a grenade launcher that can be attached to AKs. Stash 8 is in the southwest corner of the map, down the cliff on the east side of the sniper tower. 
In the stash is an IZH-81 shotgun at about 3 fourths durability, a knife, and three boxes of slugs with a total of 15 shells. If you need weapon cleaning supplies, Stash 9 has you covered. Right next to the Provome route transition in the concrete pipe is three rolls of toilet paper, four full cans of cleaning oil spray, and an M9 pistol at about a third durability. Stash 10 has a PPSH at about two-thirds durability and two drum mags that can't be bought at the store. The only place they can be found is in the radius. Stash 11 is in the very northwest corner of the map, next to the sniper tower. It's on the back of the truck floating above the gas field. To get onto it, sprint at it from the cliff above. It'll probably take damage getting down from the truck, so it's a good idea to be healed up. After hopping down, you can either go through the gas anomalies or walk into the edge of the fog wall to be teleported to someplace else. In this stash is an AUG and magazine, both at about 40% durability, a flashlight for the AUG, and two 556 by 45 FMJ ammo boxes, with a total of 17 rounds between them. Stash 12 is located in the northeast corner of the map, with an AKM that has about 5% durability, three long magazines, and three boxes of 760x39 FMJ ammo with a total of 13 rounds between them. Moving on to the map Kolkot's area, Stash 13 is in the center of the village. The house it's in has a green jeep parked outside, making it easy to find. Similar to Stash 4, this one is in the oven. In it is an AKS-74U at half durability, and two 545x39 armor-piercing ammo boxes with 15 rounds between them. Just like stash number 5, stash 14 is in a sunken rowboat underwater. In it are two F1 grenades, a PSO scope, and three 762x39 FMJ ammo boxes with a total of 16 rounds between them.
Stash 15 is at the grow houses. In it is a hunting shotgun, three boxes of slugs for it with a total of seven shells, and a Spectre 4X scope. Stash 16 is in the train station, on top of a train in the northeast corner of Kohat Zarya. Like Stash 7, with all the grenade launcher shells, the items in this stash are hidden under the train and can't be easily seen. In this stash you'll find an SKS at about 40% durability, a magazine for the SKS, and an OKP-7 site. Stash 17 should be located under a bridge, in the water. Unfortunately right now the stash is bugged so there isn't anything in it, but normally you'd be able to find a Mosin. Stash 18 is the last one called Kaz Zarya. It's in the forest near the transition to Pushorsk Castle. In this stash is one of the only places you can get the long Saiga 12 gauge magazines. Here you'll find two of those mags and five boxes of ammo with a total of 13 slugs. Both stashes in Petrorus Castle can only be accessed when you have the last storm mission in the game active. Stash 19 is a Saiga 12 gauge shotgun and a box of 10 slugs. The final stash, number 20. Looks to be in the middle of the water on the map, but there's actually a peninsula of land there. On this peninsula is a corpse with a bunch of items next to it, behind the castle. Here you can find a PM with all the rails on it, 3 PM magazines, 75 rounds of 9x18 armor piercing ammo, a pistol laser sight, 3 healing injectors, 2 cans of pineapple, and finally, 1 can of meat. Thanks for watching this breakdown of all 20 stashes and Into the Radius. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks!